G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. And today we're gonna talk about whether the new episode show and tell is the exact same as the episode Tina from season three. Now, if you haven't seen the episode show and tell yet, it is part of the nine new episodes that we have just gotten in Australia. However, of course, if you are overseas and you wanna watch these, you will need to use a VPN. I use NordVPN, I'm not sponsored by them, I wish. But I do have an affiliate link, so I'll leave it here as well as in the comment section down below and pinned with a link onto how you can actually use it to watch these new episodes. But we do need to talk about show and tell because this is the first time ever in an episode that they have referenced a previous episode. Didn't we cover this already? Uh, no. Yeah, we did, remember? Your invisible friend Tina beat me up. This then shows us that there is an actual timeline in the Blueyverse and that it does actually go along sequentially. And this is a bit of a fourth wall break as well from Bandit to the audience, sort of saying how it is disappointing when people don't quite understand the message that you're trying to portray in an episode. And we all learned that when I tell you to do something, I'm trying to help you. I didn't learn that. Me neither. Really? That's disappointing. And I definitely think that is from Joe Brum himself, where he, maybe he feels disappointed that sometimes people just haven't really understood the message in some of his episodes. But I gotta say that I was pretty surprised when we got like the short description of this episode because it basically reads that Bluey wants to know why her dad's bossing them around. Dad, why do you boss us around all the time? And that's the exact same plot line for Tina as well. Bluey wanted to understand why Bandit and Chili were just trying to boss them around the whole time. Why do we always have to do what you say? Because I'm bigger than you. You're always saying do this and do that. That's true, you do. Why were they repeating this story again? Have they run out of ideas or just what was going on behind Joe Brum's mind in creating this episode? Now, if we look at the episode Tina, the focus really was on the fact that there's always a good reason why parents tell you to do the things that they do. Kids, when we tell you you have to have a bath or brush your teeth or wash your hands, it's because there's a good reason to do all those things. And that they should at least take the time to explain that to kids so that they can understand why they're telling them to do these things. And not even just explain it, like for example, with why you should brush your teeth, Chili did use like the imaginary idea of Tina losing her teeth to try and get the point across of, as to why they tell them to do these things rather than just saying, I'll give you five seconds. You've got three seconds. One. All those kind of like parenting tricks. He just says, because I said so. Yeah, he says we have to because he's bigger than us. So why repeat this episode idea again then? On the Behind Blue podcast, Joe Brum actually said that he wasn't really sure if he actually nailed this episode show and tell with what he wanted to portray as the message for it. He said he really wanted to be able to link it to the script writing idea of show don't tell because in most film and television, it's like this big thing that you don't want to be told the story, you want to see the story. And especially for kids, again, they switch off if it's not entertaining. Endoskeleton. You see, blah, 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 skeleton, blah, 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 mitochondria. Make sense? No. And a lot of the time, if you actually see the concept, you're more likely to internalize it and feel it and understand it rather than someone just telling you what you should be feeling. So I think that's what Joe Brum was trying to attempt with this idea of bossing people around. He wanted to kind of show it from two different perspectives or angles. One, where you explain the reasoning as to why you're bossing someone around, which is what we saw in Tina. Look, we'll probably still say those things because we're busy, but now you know what we really mean. Okay, Mum. And then the other one is showing the consequences of not listening to someone who is bossing you around, which is what we saw in Show and Tell. Now turn right like she says. This better work. No, it worked. I told you. This is why I personally actually think that Show and Tell is a better episode for this message of bossing around because it does really focus on the idea of showing not telling, which is exactly what Tina was. It was telling them what to do. And as Bandit said, Pro tip, keep it simple. Kids switch off if you talk too long. So even if you're trying to explain the reason why, sometimes if you're not doing it simply enough, that message is just gonna go over their head. And maybe that's what he felt about with the episode Tina, that it would just go over people's heads and he had to show that idea in a different way. And whilst, yeah, he kind of did try to show it with like the teeth falling out, again, that's like an imaginary thing right at the very end of the episode Tina. So I feel like it wasn't really showing. It was still just kind of telling. Whereas in this episode, Show and Tell, he really uses the idea of the sat-nav and not listening to the sat-nav. No. Huh? Turn left here. No, I don't want to. As a way to get the message across to Bluey in the episode, but also across to us in the audience as both parents and children. If you ignore sat-nav, you're going to get lost. 
Well, we'll see. Because there is a consequence if you didn't listen to Satnav, you will just get lost. This way though, you can see that Bluey internalizes the reason as to why she should listen a lot more. And then hopefully kids in the audience watching this episode would also internalize that reason of why it's important to listen as well to your parents. But I do think of course that it has a message for parents as well and telling us that, you know, you should be showing the behavior that you want your kids to emulate, not just telling them the behavior that you want them to do. Perfect example of this of course is like telling kids to clean something if you're not also cleaning something as well or telling them not to swear but if you're swearing and of course in the episode show and tell the tomato sauce scene thanks hey what's that tomato sauce this is a perfect prime example of parents telling their kids that they should eat healthy but them themselves not having that healthy option as well what's the difference between my tomato sauce and your tomato sauce yours is a healthy one it's got less sugar in it so of course, Bluey and Bingo were devastated to find out that their blue tomato sauce lid was nowhere near tasting as good as the red tomato sauce lid because that one had more sugar in it. So a perfect example of parents telling their kids to do something but not also acting that way as well. Do as I say, not as I do. That doesn't really work for kids. They want to emulate our behavior at all times. And I think that's what Joe Brum was really trying to get at with this episode show and tell. That we do need to show our kids what we want them to do rather than telling them what we want them to do. Because yeah, as parents, we can be pretty hip critical sometimes and sometimes we do need a reminder of this. Some other little just interesting facts from the Behind Bluey podcast for this episode show and tell but the fact that Joe Brum himself has done the sat nav game with his girls. Also his girls are the ones who call the cemetery statue world. However apparently his daughter had a much funnier way of calling it where she was like it's statue world where everyone is dead. Which is hilarious but I can understand why that line didn't quite make it into the show. They did also talk about the fact that at the graveyard or cemetery that there were no religious icons and apparently that's because because ABC doesn't allow that within their kids shows. You're not allowed to show any religion or iconography that can be associated with the religion. That's why we didn't see any like angels in there or any exact sort of like prayer sort of symbols. We just see like an open book, which could be anything really. And then dogs holding flowers as a statue or a dog just kind of like with their arms like kind of together. So it still portrayed the idea of it being a cemetery, but without any religious affiliation, which was really interesting. And I didn't know that. But overall, what did you think about the message of this episode? Did you prefer Tina or Show and Tell to explain the idea of why we boss children around? Let me know in that comment section down below. I would love to know which one of these episodes was your favorite. For me, I definitely think I like Show and Tell more because I do really like the idea of showing, not telling, or you know, act as I do and showing as a parent how we want our kids to behave. I think that messaging is really great. Now I do have a live stream again this weekend for our next Bluey season three episode. So make sure then that you hit that subscribe button as well as that bell for notifications. So you know when we're gonna be going live for that episode. And I also have a Bluey theory coming out this week as well as a theory about Disney and Peter Pan and the Little Mermaid. So I'm super excited to start to, you know, branch out into some other ideas as well. I love Disney and Pixar movies and I will be covering a lot more of them this year as they those new movies start to come out. But until then, I have picked you cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I will see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!